Hello everyone. So I'm Nicholas. I'm the founder and CEO of Preview. So one of the beautiful thing about reality capture data is that it enables us to connect us all together. The beauty of reality capture is that it's extremely rich data, but for a long time, it's been very difficult to make it available to everyone. So what we worked on for the last five years is the ability to take high quality brain cloud data and automatically convert it into an interactive 3D environment. So this is what is called meshes. So our system is designed to take terabytes of point cloud and automatically convert it all into a very interactive, very visual way of working. And this is the first step to enable new use cases for the data. Typically, meshes are reserved for photogrammetry. With terrestrial laser scanners and more recently with SLAM devices, you're able to capture very high quality data that will most likely end up reference measurements, maybe for CAD use cases. But once converted to a mesh file, it enables people to consume it for new applications. By converting to a textured mesh, on average, we're going to have 95% less data. And one of the unique thing that we do is that we convert it into tiles as well. So when you're delivering this on into a like normal computer, you're going to have the ability to just stream it, even with low performance requirements. This enables the same thing to be deployed on web experiences. And uh, it brought us to think about new use cases. So from my background, founding the company was for enabling better workflows for engineers. My challenge that I was facing was the ability to communicate ideas to non-technical users. When you work in facilities, you're trying to impact change for the better, but with traditional workflows, you're limited in your ability to connect with the non-technical user. Think about the factory floor workers. Think about the executives. How do I get to explain the idea that I had in my mind? So this is when we started looking at innovative way to deliver a tool set that go beyond looking at the data. <laughs> what you're seeing here is in a few clicks, I can now start to use reality as a way to communicate. Can I take this thing outside? Can I validate? Can I explain how what I would bring a new equipment in? All of this with just a few clicks, enabling everyone around the table to understand clearly the proposition and iterate on design ideas way before you go into the detailed engineering phase that is very long and time consuming. So it started with the first facility and then we decided to expand this and turn it into a SaaS application. So the solution is a self-service. If you have a point cloud data in E57 file format or device agnostic, you come to the website, you wait a bit if the internet is slow in your area, and then you just click process. It's entirely automatic and it enables you guys to start delivering something that is a much more immersive for your customer to really take ownership of their data. But now that we've captured and deployed a technology in hundreds of uh, facilities and location around the world, people are starting to ask for new use cases. And this led us to do research and having the ability to start to contextualize data is what a lot of people have been calling digital twins. So digital twins is an expectation that you're able to augment reality with data. But one of the critical challenges is that most likely you're going to end up modeling everything. This is why we heard so much about BIM. But in reality, technology is now looking to enable much greater and much easier way to do it. So what you're looking at now is an automatic part of our processing system that enables to not only just separate objects, but enable to bring data to assets. So this technology and I think I will make the bridge with the latest research and innovation. AI is going to impact our market and the ability to look at large language model and more recently, multi-model models 
enabling to start to look for assets in the scene will really change the way that we can offer a value-driven solution to the market without the need to involve so much manual work as it was before. So we really started with the idea that maybe we could help Revit workflows and meshes have been demonstrated to be a good tool set to enable a much lighter way to work inside. A lot of people are using meshes now in Revit to skip modeling everything. Why would you go and model everything if you have the context in the background? And now then we looked at legacy data. Why not just bring Orthophoto in AutoCAD instead of bringing the entire point cloud? That's a much greater way to work. But more recently, I think the segmentation, the ability to do AI queries to your models have just changed the way we look at data. And this is going to be the way forward. When you're helping engineers, you're helping maybe 5% of the facility potential people. But maintenance's operation is pretty much everyone in the facility. One of the key challenges is that you have to connect people with data. When we're talking to customers, their biggest top of mind challenges is not just the challenges brought by engineering. It's the fact that they have a hard time hiring people and they have a hard time training them to be operational. So you're going to have the supervisors that have the answers, but he's overworked. He's the only one that can take fast decision, but he's not able to let other workers that just joined the company take decision. So for us, the ability to connect people with data and ultimately taking better decision faster is really the holy grail of what a digital twin should be. So if you're looking at the screen here, Think about legacy data. In facility, you have complex system. Sometimes they're described as PNIDs, which is not a physical representation, but really an understanding of the system. So technology enabled us to map out PNIDs, which is great in electrical diagrams. But what about the asset? I think bridging the gap between legacy data, the asset, and then thinking about bringing the telemetry data, so IoT data, is really where we want to be. So if you look at the screen from the left side all the way to the right side, I'm on the factory floor. I swipe my phone out because I see the machine, like the motor is vibrating. I retrieve the data. I understand that it's about to overeat on the right side. Then I click further and I have my SAP spare parts and I know that there's a way like I have the parts to fix it, then I just, with a few clicks, even from a floor worker without any technical expertise, you can just say, guys, there's something happening here and the maintenance team can get that query and have all the information needed to go and just solve that problem immediately, which is not possible. So context provided by twins will enable to connect the back office with the factory floor, which again, for us, we believe this is the way forward for reality capture data to really unlock a new market opportunity. So that was it for my presentation today.